Hey there, this is Asa Weiss, and this is a new UIV that I've been designing. I'm almost ready to start building it, um, but I wanted to share just a few of the analyses that this has been going through to get here. And I will share it in much more detail on my website, asaweiss.com. I'll put the link in the description. And you can find progress on this project and many other projects of interest over there. So please have a look. All right, so what are we looking at here? This is the stability analysis, and we've got fast and slow modes, and we can inspect how this airplane recovers from them, or in some cases, doesn't recover from them. It takes a while for it to uh, dampen down from oscillations here, but I'm not too worried with this mode, because I think I can correct it with pilot input. The others, uh, it performs quite well. Now another interesting idea to think about when designing an airplane uh, is where to start from. And in this case, I started with what is cruise? What is cruise for an airplane? So um, part of that's determined by uh, how much, how much, what speed we're gonna be flying at, what's the size of the airplane, um, how much, what's our payload, and uh, how much lift we're generating. Uh, do we need to generate for that? So to determine that, we take a look at the uh, polars here, the polar diagrams, and get an idea of what is happening at trim flight. So at when you let your hands off the controls, what is happening um, to the airplane? Does it pitch? So at zero pitching moment here, what is our lift coefficient? And that is about 0.22 in our case. So what I've been doing is I've been jumping over to a spreadsheet that I put together here. And I've determined my payload. It's got our battery, our motors, some other hardware, and of course our camera. We've got to have that. And it amounts to about 0.7 kilograms. I also have in here the desired wingspan and uh, cruising speed of this aircraft. And from our program last seen, we've got our lift coefficient here. 0.22. Uh, put this into our lift equation and we get a lift of 0.8 kilograms. So that's great. Actually have sufficient lift in this case. The other question to think about is do we have sufficient power? So how much drag are we producing? Well from our program we've also are able to determine what our drag coefficient is. We can run the equation on our uh, drag force and we find that we produce about 0.1 kilograms of drag force. So is that a bad thing? Well, our motor produces up to 0.6 kilograms. So that's great, 0.6 kilograms at full throttle. Um, we're running at about 20% throttle. So where did this number come from, the 0.6? Did I just make that up? Well, a couple ways is I found this um, static thrust calculator and I can put in our propeller size and our RPM which is going to be our motor kV times the battery and that produces about 0.6 kilograms so that's great another way to corroborate that is I looked at the data sheet of a very similar motor here and we also see that at about 20 percent power we produce about 100 kilograms. Great, so that, that looks good. That all makes sense. And uh, I think our plane's gonna be cruising along pretty good. Now, another interesting thing that I've been coming across for flying wings is uh, even the, the matter of stability. So this is something I'll get deeper into on my website or in another post. But um, flying wings are interesting because uh, to have a positive lift coefficient at zero pitching moment, uh, you need to employ some interesting ideas to the airfoil. And what that involves is, uh, what, what you could use to help that is use wing washout, or wing twist, as it's sometimes called. And that's where the tips of the wing actually tip downward. So these tips actually tip downward uh, twist downward by about three degrees in this case and offset some of the 
pitching, uh, pitching moment um, caused by the leading portion of this aircraft. The other idea is to use, as you can see here, is um, a reflex airfoil. So um, I'm using a reflex airfoil uh, positively reflexed on the wing tips and actually negatively reflexed on the leading portion of this plane. So that actually helps to balance everything. Uh, and you can see what we do in doing so, the, balance, the game that we have to play balancing is that we actually generate adverse lift, or negative lift I should say, or reduced lift at the wing tips. Um, to help stabilize our airplane in some of these other modes. All right, well, I will continue sharing more about this project, um, especially the building portion of it. And uh, I've just finished building our, uh, the, the hot wire cutter. I got some foam. I've got my motor and everything else prepared. I'm hoping to get this thing built in the next couple days and then uh, stick an Ardu pilot on there so that it has autonomous flight capability. and. Uh, pretty excited to see it fly. So I will continue posting progress on this. Please check my website, asaweiss.com. And uh, thanks for watching.